every now and again um, when I run in-person workshops, well actually not every now and again, but most times, um, even though I say to students, don't put much paint on your palette, you can go back and get it lots of times. I end up with a whole bunch of palettes that look like this and it's got a heap of paint on it and I hate throwing paint down the drain if, and so if I can avoid it what I do is I bring all the palettes home and I use them up on canvases that I'm currently working on and so I'm just going to go through with a heap of different palettes. I think there's probably about eight or nine of them with all this paint and put it on the canvas behind me. And that's also to show that even though this is a work in progress, I'm not really attached to anything on there at the moment. And so who knows what might happen when I mix all of this together with what's on there. So anyway, um, sit back and enjoy. I'm going to have a bit of fun. Um, what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to let this dry on the palette now and then um, what I then do with it is I spray it with a bit of water and scrape it off and then that goes in the bin rather than actually just go down the drain. So anyway, palette number one. another one. The great thing about doing this is there are colours on here that I probably wouldn't normally use and as a result of that they get to go on my canvas and I get to do something different. So my all of my students are contributing to whatever ends up on here in the end. So the tricky thing about all of this is that once I've done this, I won't be able to mix the same colours again or I find it really hard. So um, yeah, it's an adventure. to a palette knife because all of my marks are becoming really similar so if I use this then I might get to make something that's just a little bit different.
Last one. Has to be hands. That is how much paint would have went down the drain if I'd not decided to bring it home with me and put it on a canvas. So not quite as messy as um, I sometimes get, but when you got paint on one hand, good job because I've got itchy nose. Um, but anyway, this really is just a bit of a tip. If you're painting and you um, you have excess paint don't put it on a canvas that you're really coming to the end of put it on another one start another one something that you're not precious about and just use whatever paints you've got use them up don't put them down the drain and just see what happens anyway who knows <laughs> hope you enjoyed watching me be messy bye